and hello everyone I'm here on day one of becoming the master of your love life this is going to be the first in a series of 10 videos that I'm doing to help you get stronger have more insights and make some permanent changes that will finally stick and so uh, I'm gonna get right into it and Penny is here hello Penny so as you join say hello tell us tell me what's going on in your life and I'm gonna I'm gonna get through the topic and then I'll take some questions I have about 10-15 minutes and then I have a client call so how do you become the master of your love life the first step is having insight into yourself and your love patterns. And many, many of you do have insight. You read lots of books about love and self-help. You watch videos, you listen to podcasts, you take courses, you post in our Facebook group. And so you, you know, you're doing tons of stuff, reading, writing, listening, so why are you still single? Because insight without change is useless. Insight without change is useless. And so many women come to me with the intellectual understanding of what is wrong, what is not working. But nothing changes until you take positive action. You have to get into action. I'm going to tell you a brief story about a client. I will call her Linda. She came to me after she was widowed at a fairly young age, and then she got divorced after a brief marriage that was pretty disastrous. She had a great first marriage, and she didn't understand why dating was so hard for her. She had boyfriends, and nothing was working out. She was beautiful wonderful smart super competent and so what happened why did it not work out for her and what happened was she was so smart and so aware but she was repeating patterns that she did not know she had and so when you get into a coaching or a therapeutic relationship we hold up a mirror so that you can see yourself in a new way and you can reframe how you've been doing whatever you've been doing. And so I was able to reflect back to her a lot of codependency tendencies that she had that lingered from her childhood. She had a sister who was either younger or older, but she was, um, I don't know if she was mentally incompetent. She certainly was annoying as hell. And this woman felt responsible for her. And she was just a victim her sister constantly complaining never changing in a terrible you know marriage and and she would always come to Linda and whine and Linda didn't know how to deal with it and so she would tolerate these conversations and she did the same exact thing in her romantic relationships and then we looked at her relationship with her children doing the same thing over giving overdoing listening to stories and not not like letting her children be more empowered and so slowly with work that we did together she learned to stop giving advice to people who weren't listening to check in with people first to empower the people around her and to speak up more this is one of the skills that I teach all the time is to learn to speak up and advocate for your own needs and make your needs important this was her pattern make everybody else's needs important not your own so let me know in the comments if you have ever done that any of what I'm talking about if you've been too caring about what other people think if you have inside like felt resentment but you keep giving 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 until you're depleted well this certainly is a terrible pattern for a relationship a romantic relationship and so this woman had tremendous insight but she didn't yet have the skills to take positive action so that is the first step have the insight into yourself and your love patterns and then start to take action to make positive change once you make those positive changes everything changes 
you start having better relationships with everyone. And in Linda's case, she changed her relationship with her sister, with her children, with her friends. At work, she started setting limits. And eventually, after some relationships that didn't work out, she ended up going back to a former boyfriend who she had never shown up in this way with. And with new agreements, and this has happened many times with clients, she was able to forge the best relationship of her life. And so <clears throat> having insight alone doesn't get you the love of your life. It gets you stuck, stuck in your head and not moving forward with the proper guidance. So that is the first step in becoming the master of your love life. I'm going to be doing these every single day at noon for the next 10 days. And this is in honor of the launch of Love Mastery. So if you are intrigued about how to become the master of your love life and you do want my guidance, I am setting up some times to talk to people about um, Love Mastery and whether it's the right program for you if you're ready to get unstuck. So I am going to put the link to the booking a call um, right here at the bottom. And I'm going to pin that to the top. It doesn't usually work. And now I'm going to say hi to whoever said hello. And um, something's weird here. Um, and whoever joined us. So it looks like Carmen is here. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. And Penny. And Penny said, I spoke with Sue a couple days ago. Cool. Penny and I know each other through a common friend who lives here in New Jersey, and Penny is the one who lives in Israel, who I just got together with. And Hannah is here. Welcome, Hannah. Good to see you. And Penny says, that's me, insight without action. And there's a reason that we get stuck. And, um, you know, and it's not to blame or shame. It's to say, okay, enough already. In fact, last night, a person who I'm speaking to in 10 minutes <coughs> Let me get a drink. Still got the cough. The person I'm going to be speaking to is a woman who, um, who I saw yesterday, and she said uh, she had just gotten back from a trip. I said, "Who'd you go with?" And she said, "The guy I'm seeing." And she looked like, like she was rolling her eyes. And I said, "What was that?" You know, the guy I'm seeing. <laughs> you know, so I said, "What's wrong?" And she said, "Well, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna end it." And I said, "How long have you been with him?" And she said, "Ten and a half years." And my mouth dropped. This woman couldn't be older than thirty-five. I don't know. She's so young. This is like her whole life she has spent with a guy who's not right for her. And she said, "You know." I didn't have a father figure um, growing up, and I don't even know what healthy looks like. And my friends keep telling me he's nice, he's kind, stay with him. So we're going to talk about this on another, on another Facebook Live, just like getting advice from friends, from family members who really don't understand what's best for you. Um, that's why people hire coaches and therapists. Uh, so it looks like Lana and Monica joined. Welcome. And Lana says, oh my gosh, yes, I've done that. Yep. And Carmen says, what you described was me, but not anymore. Woohoo, Carmen, yay. And Carmen is joining me for Love Mastery. She gave me permission to say that. So be like Carmen and join me at Love Mastery. And, and the reason I'm setting up these calls is because it's important to talk this out and see if it's a good fit. Um, but if you really want to make permanent change and, and end the cycles for once and for all, this is the program. This is going to help you. And in, as you know, I am, I'm kind, I'm gentle, but I'm also fierce and strong. And I will help kick you in the butt where it matters so you finally get unstuck. I mean, I was stuck for a really, really long time. And getting the proper help is essential. So I am done for today. Tune in tomorrow at the same time. 
and um, and keep commenting. I will check back. So I hope you guys sign up for some calls, and they're only going to be available till the tenth. So um, actually, they may be ending sooner than that because the tenth is the last day to sign up for Love Mastery. But I will talk to you soon. Bye.